And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up. Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the studio. This is it. This is the one, the pre-Fred Hall Long Beach Show with Bart Hall from the Fred Hall Shows and John Ireland from Rancho Leonero. It's our tradition for many, many years that we have this show, and you're going to be a part of it. Stay tuned. This is Let's Talk Hook Up, Southern California Sport Fishing Voice on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and radio network. When it comes to catching big bluefin tuna in local waters, Shimano has the gear proven to land the big ones. You already know the hot jig is the Shimano Butterfly Flatfall Jig. And when you match that with the right tackle system, it makes this great jig even more effective. We suggest you grab a Tranks 500 HG and fill it with 80-pound Power Pro Max Quattro. Max Quattro is 25% thinner, which means 25% more line capacity when you hook that giant. Match your new setup with a Therese 70H and you have the power to put the wood to that big blue fin tuna. The Tranks 500 HG has the cranking power you need. And with the level wind, you concentrate on fishing your Shimano flatfall and leave the line control to the Tranks reel. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flatfall. And when you add the Power Pro Max Quattro Tranks to Res Combo, you'll take your fishing to the next level. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Boy, you're right, man. It's here. If this yeah. is not uh, the the show is uh, is happening, this, yeah. this is it, man. This we is have the a day. studio full here at the fan for sure. It's... Uh, John Arlen from Rancho Lanero is back. Good morning, John. Good morning, Pedro. Uh, fresh back from the East Cape. Yep, just came back up to join you guys. And, yeah. Uh, and getting be this, at the show, right? I, I'll be at the show. Absolutely, yeah. every day. Looking forward to it. Fantastic. So what's going on at the ranch? It opens today. Today. Today, today is, is March our first, first huh? day. Yeah, no, actually, that's <laughs> wild. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed open over the winter, but uh, we're really open full full bore here. And today cool, we yeah. start. Yeah, and the fishing's actually been been pretty darn good. Yeah. A lot of Dorado throughout the winter, which you know bodes well for the coming season. A lot of Dorado around, and and this last couple of weeks they've been catching tuna, 
Sierra and Dorado from the beach. How, from, from the tuna beach? from the beach? Off the lighthouse. You know, it's a real drop-off off right. there. And they're catching tuna up to 25 pounds and nice. hitting only silver. Crocodiles are working. So the guys are tossing right off the beach and, uh, and really scoring some nice fish. Oh, I can't imagine standing with your toes in sand and catching a tuna or a dorado. So we're like, that is the coolest thing <laughs> I've ever cool. heard. I can't believe that. T- tuna off the beach is almost unheard of, you know. Sure. And they're, and they're consistently catching them. Yeah, I, I drove by there three or four days ago. There had to be seventy people. The word's out. So oh, <laughs> wow! It's like fishing one of those rivers yeah. in Alaska. Where everybody's elbow to elbow <laughs> trying to catch their tuna. But everybody's catching them, you know. And and it's coming. They're coming out of Pomo. A lot of them. <clears throat> Not the dorado but certainly the bigger tuna, the solitary tuna are coming wow. out of there. So they're working off the lighthouse, and they're catching uh, Dorado and Sierra right off the front of the ranch. That's, that's so cool. Beach. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Dorado off the beach is something, too. Yeah. yeah. When what you can go heck? down and cast, have your feet in the sand, yeah, and cast so cool. and catch tuna, Dorado, Sierra. Right. There's nothing better than that. And some big ones. I mean, yeah. you know, 25, I think the biggest one I saw, they're not weighing them, but I'd say 25, 30 pounds are the larger fish. And you sent me a picture of proof, and we posted it on our Instagram, Facebook this past week. So if you look at our right. Let's I, Talk hookup Instagram, Facebook, right. it's up there. And a nice mix, yeah. too. Some big, yeah. big Sierra, some nice sized Dorado, and, and tuna. Who, yeah. Who'd have thunk, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> in. Well, and Bart Hall, he's ready to get down to Rancho Leonero after some event that happens this week, right? You know, I, I was looking. <laughs> through pictures this week, Pete, because I had to get a lot of pictures into Western Outdoor News. And so one of my favorite pictures, had all it is is sunset, but it's sunset at the ranch. Ah. <laughs> it was just spectacular. No yeah. better place in the world to, like, eat dinner, have a glass of wine, than uh, on that on the patio at Rancho Leonero when the sun's going down. The like That's, sun's going that's number down. one. Yeah. That's yeah. Number one in the world. And it, it reflects off the clouds and onto the water, and it's got those magentas and those pinks and those oranges, and you just go... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and you can't, and John was telling me last year that you can't get, you can't sit that close to, in a new restaurant. They couldn't build a restaurant that close to the water. No. That's, that's Not anymore, yeah. yeah. Really. I broke a lot of laws when I first came. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got, then I got grandfathered in. They came and inspected <laughs> me and my permit was good for 20 years. And I went, ran through that. And, and I, so I was talking to the attorney. I said, what are we going to do? You know, I'm going to, can't tear down the front deck. So he had an idea, global warming. He says, no, no, the. The federal zone was much further out 20 years ago <laughs> because of global warming, and they went for it. Yeah, but you can't get any closer to the water. Yeah, and the patio's so cool. out in front yeah. of the ranch. I mean, yeah. they're on the water. We're yeah. sitting there having cocktails one night just before dinner, and Dave, of course, was late getting in. And he was on a boat, <laughs> and it was right there. I mean, he's right on the shoreline, right where you could easily cast to from the shore. You could cast beyond that, and he hooks a 30-pound dorado right there. We're all drinking, going, "Yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> yeah go, cool. I was, I was thinking that he was who I was thinking of. Like, how many, how many dinners? and or breakfast or whatever has Dave like bailed from because he saw a school of bait and a school of fish out there that you got to run and go you got to go run and go grab your rod they run it happens all the time you know, it'll clear the dining room out if yeah. there's a good run of, uh, especially rooster fish will come that's so cool especially come somebody in. hooks one right oh yeah and it happens all yeah. the time right yeah. in front oh, that's yeah. so cool that's uh, such a great thing and of course you'll be at the Rancho Leonero booth, which is right behind the Let's Talk Hookup booth uh, the whole time in Long Beach, right? I sure will. Yeah. I look forward to seeing everybody. Yeah, and Bart, it's uh, it's it's showtime. Oh, my goodness, Pete. You know, I, and I get really excited, and I'm and <clears throat> I'm nervous at the same time, um, you know, and uh, so here it is. And you just, I think about it all year long, and uh, all of a sudden it's here. <clears throat> you know, I don't do the, the work that uh, Jenny and I used to do. Uh, that, that now pretty much Mike does, where he, he lays it all out, you know, and gets to see it. Uh, but w- when you look at it, you know, we're looking at it on a piece of paper that's, well, we, we still do it the old school way. We don't use C- CAD things because we, we feel that you have a better perspective if you actually see it on mm-hmm. paper. And we make very large copies. I mean, it's om- as large as this huge desk we're at right now. And uh, so you'll sit and you look at it, and then all of a sudden you get there, and it goes from that to coming up like this and, it, and in color, and it, it's going to be spectacular. The, 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 all the major uh, players have done more. I mean, you you've talked about how much more you're doing, and everybody's doing the same thing. They're 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 getting bigger and better yeah. because the fishing's been good, and they want to reach out to their customer. And 
Uh, it's going to be a beautiful show, and it should be spectacular. And the weather looks like it's going to be good, and so we're really looking looks forward like to it. Looks like perfect show weather. Exactly. Right? It does. Yeah. Not beautiful, hot, flat, calm on the yeah. water, and a yeah. uh, little bit of breeze on the water, and yeah. uh, and good time to go to the show. Yeah, yeah, just enough that you don't necessarily want to be going, you know, offshore or anything like that, yeah. but not enough that it'll cause us any problems with traffic and everything. It's like the perfect. Perfect time to come celebrate fishing. Yeah. Well, you know, it's pretty exciting looking at Western Outdoor News this week and the, the big book that they oh put out. Oh, my God, the novel. For, yeah. Um, one of the seminars that really caught my eye was the Captain's Summit put together by the one and only Steve Carson. That That's quite a summit. You're not kidding. Holy <laughs> mackerel. Yeah. He did some work getting all those guys together. That is a really impressive yeah. lineup. You've got Captain Art Taylor, Captain Bob Hoos, and I understand – that as part of this seminar, they're going to have a Bob Who's sound alike contest. <laughs> hey, Pete, Rick, <laughs> what's going on? They're going to have a contest. And the person well, you're going to be in the running. The yeah, you're in the running can, for can, sure. Can, can win. And then uh, Captain Mike Lackey from the Vagabond, uh, Captain Ray Lopez from the American Angler, Captain Andrew Viola from the Pacifica, and Ray from the Shogun. I'm not going to say Ray's last name because I never pronounce it right. <laughs> oh, Renee's? Montenegro. Monte Agudo. Monte Agudo. You could. Okay, very good. <laughs> anyway, Renee's a heck of a captain. I've no fished with him many times. He's awesome. Yeah. But that, what a lineup. You're not kidding. All yeah. top notch guys there. I mean, Ray Lopez and Mike Lackey, Bob Who's, Art Taylor, Andrew, Renee. Oh, it, I mean, and then you have the walking encyclopedia heading the whole show, Steve Carson. Those big panels are so much fun for all like the spinoff. You know, some Somebody may ask a, a great question and then somebody will answer, but then, you know, Ray might have something to add and then mm -hmm. Renee will put in his two say like it's all the it's all the extra that comes along, you know, with having so many so many experts in there, that's gonna be a really cool event. Well, you know, we do two hours here and you you know how fast it goes. Yes. Right. Well that's two hours too and there's barely enough time for each one of those guys to have much. So they're all going to encourage people to come back to their booths afterwards if they have specific questions. That's a good call. I'm going to go and watch it because I want to see. Uh, it's you can't be, go and watch it. You'll uh, be in a CCA meeting. <laughs> I'm going to put, put my head in because <laughs> I, I, I want to see a Carson not talking. You know, a <laughs> Carson not talking. That, that would be a novel. Yeah. Hey, so Thursday, March 5th. Uh, and it's $35 for adults, $10 for children, and you get into the show for free through the back door. Right? Yes, through the back door. And there's light refreshments. There's coffee and tea and lemonade yeah. and water, you know, just yeah. so, you don't get, so you can stay hydrated. But let me warn you, if you want tickets, go yeah. to fredhall.com right now, click on Long Beach, and then get the tickets uh, before the show because it's going to sell out. I'm surprised there's any left, actually, to tell you yeah, the truth. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, there won't be by tomorrow. Exactly. Because yeah. there's only 150 spots. Available. Yeah, right. Now, when yeah. I left, there was, this was on Friday or Thursday when I checked on it, there was 85 sold already. Okay. Oh, wow. So we're pretty much. It's going. Yeah. It's going to go quickly. Yeah, but what a so cool thing. And like you said, you, you, you get to one check out the seminar, you get to hang out with all those guys and hear all that great info, and you. You slide in through a different line. You're one yeah. of the first people onto the floor. I mean, what a cool deal. Indeed. It's kind of cool to walk in that side door. You yeah. Know? Heck Everybody's yeah. standing in line. You're going, hi, guys. Yeah, hi. Yeah. <laughs> walking right in. Yeah. So what are some of the highlights this year that we haven't seen before, Bart? Well, this will be the largest collection of marine electronics ever seen at a show in the western United States. Holy wow. mackerel. Uh, very interesting. You know, what? We, I tried to get marine electronics in the show for a long, long time. And when we finally went up and did our San Francisco show for four years, I got to meet uh, Joe Donatini from Johnson Hicks Marine. And he's up in Santa Cruz. I mean, that's where his store is, yeah. quote-unquote store. And I said, well, why don't you come, would you come down to Long Beach? And yeah, sure, we'd do that. <clears throat> he started many years ago. He's been evolving it and evolving it and evolving it. And he, between him and Mike Lum, uh, that now that we've moved the sem there was a seminar, a small seminar room upstairs. We've now moved that seminar to where the Costa Sporting Chef Cafe used to be. Okay. And, and it's right next to this giant marine electronics section. It's not a display. It's like yeah. huge. And kind of right adjacent to where West Coast Marine is with the Parker boats. Yeah. 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 And uh, and Judy just handed me the, handed me the the schedule. It's in the Western Outdoor News. It's it's quite a schedule. Uh, matter of fact, she printed it out. Uh, you got Simrad, Furuno, Garmin, Raymarine. You know, it's just 
It's endless. That's yeah. so cool because, you know, one, not only is that the best place where you could shop and inform yourself on new electronics, but if you're already a Simrad guy, if you're already a Lawrence guy, then you can go to one of those seminars and you can educate yourself better. I mean, all of us, I'm sure, it's like owning a computer. Like, we might know how to turn it on and get on the Internet, but it does so much more, and this will be an opportunity to really buff up on your own skills for what you already have. The first one I looked at here was Simrad, Sergio Vasquez, and Scott Fortes. Deep drop for local swordfish. There you go. Wow. <laughs> and Scott is a wizard. Yeah. Scott Fordyce is yeah. amazing. He's been with Simrad many, many years and so, so really that, knows his that's, stuff. That's a big deal. That's really know? cool. And yeah. then, uh, well, you know, we're going to have, uh, like I said, everybody's kind of stepped up their act. Um, uh, bigger, better, and... Um, uh, and I won't know the bigger and better till I get there with you guys. Yeah, right. And we actually see it. Now, one of the things is Okuma, uh, we are very uh, happy to say most of the time uh, companies release new products at the I- at ICAST, the, the International Consortium of Allied Sport Fishing Trades. It's not a silly name. <laughs> it's ICAST. But it's ICAST, so that's the deal. And uh, But they held this back to introduce it at Long Beach. Wasn't that cool? It's called the Alijos Lever Drag Reel. Yeah. Uh, I've seen pictures of it. I've never tried I don't think anybody's tried it out here, but you get to try it here. Um, you know, we get to, we want to thank Shimano for all that they've done over the years, uh, all that Dave has done, uh, how they've been so forward-thinking in, uh, in, in per, uh, being part of Angler's Rights. And they're going to have, you know, of course, the uh, uh, Real Repair Seminar, which is really a, a really Super important. Popular. Yeah. It's very popular. Bring your reels. Bring your, oh, you don't even have to bring your reel. You can sit yeah. there and watch other people who brought their reels, and yeah. they might have what you have. But, yeah, bring your reel, and they'll show you how to work on it. Uh, we the, uh, the 400 seminars in five days is just... Uh, 400 seminars wow. in five days. Mind-boggling. You know, the, the accurate accurate boys. Uh, oh, <laughs> I did a story. This is funny. Um, 30 years with accurate. This is their 30th year with us. And the way it got started is Jenny and I were at Newport Beach for the boat parade, and we were at a friend's house, and these two young teenage boys came up to me and said, do you think we can sell your ga- these gaffs at your show? And I went, um, yeah. sure, of course yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says, well, what does it cost? And we had some inexpensive booths around the outside of the sports arena then. And I you know, told him what it cost, and he went, oh, we couldn't afford that. I said, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you come in, see what you, if you can sell them. If you do, you can pay me. If not, don't worry about it. Well, of course, they sold out the first day. They had to stay up every night, all night long, making gaffes until yeah. the end of the show. And here, 30 years later, they sponsor the main seminar stage at, at the Fred Hall show. That's, that's cool. a One cool those, story. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, that is no a great way. story. Yeah. Doug and David. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I'd, um, I, in the show program, there's I have a I found a picture that Jack had sent me a long time ago of Doug and David at like seven years old really? catching Sacramento perch on Crowley. <laughs> I hope it makes the program. Wow, wow. that's cool. That's, that's cool. really cool. That's really great. Yeah. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you. A lot to talk about with Rancho Leonero and John Ireland, fresh back from what's now open. Rancho Leonero for the season, and of course Bart Hall is here with his lovely wife Jenny too. Uh, but uh, she's not; she's just a background person. She's <laughs> yeah, she's she, Bart's going to do the talking. She doesn't right? want to talk. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. We have a great show lined we up. We really do. It's going to be so much fun. A bunch of friends talking fishing, and we want to talk to you. If you want to be a part of Let's Talk Hook Up this morning, we want to hear from you. Eight three three two eight eight zero nine seven three. That's how you reach us on Let's Talk Hook Up this morning. Again. 833-288-0973. And not only are we talking fun, talking fishing, talking Fred Hall, and our favorite place in the world at Rancho Leonero, we are also giving away a bunch of great prizes. We are going to have four lucky winners at the end of the show today, so you definitely want to call. Four lucky callers are each going to get two tickets of your choice of Fred Hall, Long Beach, or Del Mar show. So, so whatever show you're wanting to head to, we got you covered on tickets. Just tell Adam when 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 he calls you back that yep. if you're one of the winners yeah you got it man yeah. four tickets coming your way so very exciting again if you want to get your opportunity to go to the best show in the world or better yet your chance to talk to bart talk to john 833-288-0973 and when we come back we're going to be taking your phone calls lots of great info coming your way you stay tuned you're listening to southern california's sport fishing voice it's let's talk hook up on the let's talk hook up app and network
Your vacation bucket list can't be completed without visiting the Katmai Lodge, Alaska this summer. A world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. Get in the action fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. King, sockeye, chum, coho, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout, arctic grayling, and dolly varden. Both in the Alagnac and nearby waters. Katmai Lodge's Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fly fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in, ensuring your days are fish filled while you enjoy freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river. Back at the lodge, enjoy fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon. Delicious dinner prepared by the lodge's exceptional chef. Take a quick fly out trip to Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park for world renowned bear watching and check out our trout fish specials at catmai.com that's k-a-t-m-a-i.com catmai.com it's fred hall show time and fisherman's landing has the best selection and the hottest deals in the show we have the most complete selection of pen reels in our massive booth including the pen fathom torque and international that's pen reels and fisherman's landing tackle for over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619-224-3800. 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. It's Yamaha's Reliable Choice sales event. From January 1st to March 31st, power up with the choice of additional warranty protection or up to $1,500 in dealer credit on eligible select new 2.5 to 350 horsepower four strokes. For details, visit yamahaoutboards.com or your Yamaha Outboards dealer today. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Offer ends March 31st, 2020. Subject to change. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Select models excluded. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. Cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Rancho Leonero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2252. 1-800-646-Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Those commercials of hearing John talking yeah. about the ranch they will never, never get, get old. old. And yeah. not only do they never get old, but like it's days like today when like I like them the most. You know, when it's a little overcast and it's a little cool. Mm -hmm. When we were walking up this morning, it was breezy. It's like, man, I could just be sitting under a palapa with a margarita right now. It would yeah. be just fine At by the me. ranch. Uh, it's the best. The weather's beautiful down there right now. To it rub it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be nicer than it is in Long Beach. I can guarantee you that. Well, it, it's a little further south. Yeah, a little further. It has a how far little from, to do with as it. the crow flies, how far from here? It's like 900 miles? 800, and, I think it's 840 mi from air, San air Diego, miles. Yeah. yeah, if you're driving it, it's about almost 1,100. 1,100 If miles. you're driving. driving. But, but you're flying as the crow flies, about 841, I think it is. Yeah. Exactly. Just yeah. perfect. I know because I collect my Alaska yeah. miles. Because <laughs> it's right, it, well, it's right there at the um, at the Tropic of uh, yeah. Cancer. Yeah, well, we, we yeah. split the Tropic of Cancer. We yeah. really do. <clears throat> no, no, total eclipse of the sun back, boom, dating myself, I think it's 91. Um, they had, uh, they had a, a Coast Guard cutter, a Mexican Coast Guard cutter that went just straight down the line, and it went from the ranch straight across. So we actually... Cut the, cut the line. Cut the line well, for sure. Cool. Yeah, that's we cool. are we are the tropic of cancer. Twenty two degrees. One north. leg on either side. Yeah. yeah. So so you are in the tropics. Yeah, you know, and, and it's also interesting because people think it's because we're further south. It's so much hotter. 
than than up here or or say midriff of Baja and, and that's really not the case where it's pretty moderate down by us because we're surrounded by water at the end of the peninsula there so it never gets really blistering and hot like you might think like further up if you go to LA Bay or yeah. you know part well, of the Sonora nice Desert breezes too. yeah yeah it's breezing like you say that the, the ocean around us really moderates it out in the front like in the front patios of the hotel <clears throat> I used to have a coke thermometer and uh, and I, I would advertise it if it broke 100 degrees, it was free. And I had to bend the needle a couple times. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it hardly ever gets, so it gets over 100 right yeah. right next to the water. It really yeah. does, and it's, it moderates it. If you go three or 400 yards inland, it's a different story. What is the hottest time of the year? August, you know, August, September are the two hottest months for sure. For but sure. You keep the Pacific goes cold, though, so it's all right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, we've got draft beer now, too, which has put <laughs> yeah. about 15 pounds on me. I love, I love the it draft happens. beer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Bart, you're already dreaming about catching another big rooster, aren't you? Oh, I tell you, it's just so much fun down there. And I was just going to ask Jenny, what, what month were we there last year? Was it May? May. Yeah, we were in May. Uh, we were – there was a – it was only three couples that went last year because of scheduling conflicts. and Everybody was upset that we did that, but there was no other time. They were booked, and that's when we could go. So we went down there, and the first day, Dave Mondaji and Rick Gaskins and I went out to fish with Santos in his new boat. You know, Santos is my favorite skipper. He's got me a lot of fish, and uh, I love the guy. And we're and he had health problems, but now he's back. And so we're out there with Santos, and we get on the boat, and Santos goes, Hey, you want to catch some tuna? Well, we just come from catching tuna in San Diego. I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said, well, we can throw over some water. I said, fine, go ahead. Well, we only got one strike in the first three hours. But it was the greatest three hours all of us agreed we'd had on the water. We talked about old times and the future and everything. We just sat there. We might have had a beer or two, too. But we're just, it was warm, but not hot. It was yeah. completely glassy. It was just so beautiful. What a great place to be. And then we said to Santos, okay, we want to catch some fish to take back to the ranch. And so we ended up feeding the whole ranch. By the time we finished, coming in at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's so, so cool. It was it, great. Yeah. Yeah. Santos, Santos is a very popular captain. He's the guy that you would take fishing with you up here. Yeah. yeah he'd be the first guy you'd invite. Cool guy. Yeah, very cool. Great guy. Yeah, and the fishing, he He's a fish magnet. He yeah. really catches a lot of fish. Yeah, Great you need to have uh, several captains named Santos. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mean naming all of them. Very requested, uh -huh. that's for sure. So, uh, John, you'll be at the at the show, and uh, there's a lot of people that want to talk to you, talk to Bart. So let's jump into it. You got it, buddy. The phones are absolutely packed up again. If you want to get your opportunity to get through, it's eight three three two eight eight zero nine seven three. Let's get it kicked off with our buddy Don, who's calling from Woodland Hills this morning. Good morning, Don. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Bart, John, it's always a pleasure speaking to you both. Thanks, Don. So, um, first of all, Bart, I want to thank you as a lifelong Californian, 60-plus years, for supporting our fishing and our rights to fishing by supporting strongly CCA California. It's, it's, it's really important, and I want to invite any Let's Talk Hookup uh, listeners to come and see me on Wednesday and Friday and Saturday. I'm going to be working the booth early right. early on in the day, so come by, sign up, and uh, let's support the organization that supports us. Well, and the sign-up is a, it's a no-brainer. Look, at, for, for, it's a $50 package. For that, it costs $20 to get into Long Beach this year. So it costs thirty-five dollars to join CCA. So you give them fifty bucks. All right, you've already saved five dollars. Now on top of that, they give you one hundred and twenty dollars worth of prizes. So for fifty bucks, you you know this you're you're seventy-five bucks ahead immediately. That's awesome. It, it, and you're into the show for free. So it's uh, I I don't understand why everybody doesn't do it. It's a great deal. You guys are going to run out of stuff, I think. And supporting <laughs> well, fishing. For we sure. hope so. Yeah. yeah. Don, thanks for your uh, labors and work with uh, CCA, and thanks a lot for the call this morning. Speaking of CCA, Chris is on the line. Good morning, Chris. Hey, Pete. How's it going? Great. Yeah. Well, I mean, Bart kind of hit the nail on the head there for me, so I uh, – I uh, really appreciate that, and we, uh, we, you know, we don't do it alone. We have good members like Don as well, uh, working the boots, putting in I think over 300 man hours uh, over the Long Beach show. 
Wow. That's great. Yeah, and, and you're going to have booths in all different spots of the entrance, all, all the entrances, right? Yeah, so we'll have three different booths, one outside the show, one inside the show. That's where I'll be, so come say hi to me uh, as well as Wayne. Um, and then one over at Pine Street as well. Um, that $50 special that we were talking about earlier, that's going to be available at our outside booths, and it comes with a lot of different goodies. Uh, just to recap, it comes with a one-year membership, Entry to the hourly drawing. You're going to get two tickets, two tickets to our daily raffle for a one-week stay in Costa Rica. A uh, CCA Cal tote bag, uh, the brand new CCA Cal T-shirt, along with entry into the show. So, like like Bart said, $120 for 50 bucks. You can't beat it. Yeah, that's great, great, great deal. And at, and an organization. And this is for new members as well as renewals. Correct. Correct. So anyone you, can sign up. Yeah, and so if you just joined last month, you buy that package, you get a full year added on to the end of your membership, right? Absolutely, yeah. It just simply rolls over. So whether you signed up at one of our banquets or last month at a club meeting, uh, it's just going to add on one year to your membership. Fantastic. Well, Chris, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for all your work and hard hard work that Wayne and you do. I know it's a... It's it's a uh, it's an amazing job no what you guys do for sure. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you at the show. Thank you, Pete. Really appreciate the support. Thanks, right. Chris. You bet. All right. Well, very good, Rick. Let's jump back into those phones. You got it. How about we talk to Paul? And Paul's calling us from Bellflower this morning. Good morning, Paul. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, Bart and John Ireland, Pete, Rick, and hello, Jenny. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, right, Paul. So. Hey, um, so my question is for John Ireland. Um, Shoot, Paul. When did you when did you start fishing, and how did that incorporate and get you into the ranch? <laughs> and uh, Bart, thank you very much, sir, for keeping your dad's dream alive. You're welcome. Uh, well, thanks for the question, Paul. Yeah, my father was a uh, avid fisherman. <clears throat> I grew up in Santa Monica, and. Uh, Actually, Paradise Cove. I actually worked on a on a half day boat out of Paradise Cove when I was a kid. Uh, one of my father's patients owned Paradise Cove, and the and the boat going out of there. Mike Ward was his name. So I've been fishing for for a long, long time. My father was also a camp doctor at Camp Emerald Bay, the Boy Scout camp there on Catalina Island on the far west end. And uh, nice. from the time I was one, yeah, huh. two, two, that was our summer vacation for two weeks every summer from the time I was one years old. That's where I learned to swim and fish and everything else. So I've got a real background to fishing, and and I love it. That's cool. To this day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bart. We used to fish Paradise Cove all the time, my dad and I. Yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah. If you stand on the pier there, you can watch the hammerhead swim along the shoreline where all the people are swimming and uh, trying to eat the local fish. It, it's still real beautiful, undeveloped, the same oh. as it always yeah. is. Yeah. We were yeah. just cool. in there Amazing. about two months ago just looking around. The most expensive trailer park in the world is in there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's right. That's right. That's it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bar, uh, Paul, thanks a lot. Good question. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And, you know, and, and Paul talked about – um, your dad's uh, vision and, and, and what it's become. 74th annual this wow. year, Long Beach Show, right? Right. So I was born in 1945. That's when he had this idea. I don't know because <laughs> of me or whatever. He went to his his job was ushers, ticket sellers, and gate men at sporting events. So it was uh, the Rams and the Dodgers and U- USC and UCLA and the fights and the racetracks. And any sporting event, they were like what Event Pro is now, you know, yeah. or Staff Pro is now. So uh, he goes to his boss, who ends up being my godfather, and he goes, um, we ought to do a sportsman show. And the famous line was, what the hell's a sportsman <laughs> show? And so that's in 1946. Uh, they started it at Gilmore Stadium in a little dirt track where they did midget racing, uh, poles up with lights and um famous story I mean, we've told this a thousand times but it's a great story my dad decided he didn't like the look of the dirt so he decided he was going to get some sawdust dye it green and throw it over the dirt and it looked great and he put uh, uh, pine boughs on the on those light poles that were up and it looked like an outdoor event until it rained and yeah. then and then that sawdust that had the dye in it got in everybody's socks and shoes and ran oh. over. yeah <laughs> so that was that and then they moved over to the uh, across the hallway there across the parking lot to the 
uh, Penn Pacific Auditorium, where it was for many years, and then um, this LA Sports Arena onto the, um, I mean, onto the Great Western Exhibit Center, LA Sports Arena, and finally to the Long Beach Convention Center, where it is now. But been in the uh, LA market 74 years. Your dad knew, he just had a natural knack, or knack, knack, maybe not natural, maybe he learned it, of, of making a show look great. Every year it improved, and I have told this story before too. First a year in Del Mar, I displayed. I had a big round table, and and he, he comes over to me and he goes, "Kid, you got a lot to learn about shows." <laughs> and, yeah, that was, I was that there. Was, that was twenty eight years ago. Yeah, and uh, he basically, you and your dad both said, "Okay, here's what you need to do to make your booth stand out," and that's what he was really good at. Is making his customers stand out. Yeah. He he really was. He had a he had a real flair for it. I think I've inherited that from him a little bit, you know, I'm proud of that and uh we've you know, it's uh it's not just this is not just a business for us. It really is. We feel like we're part of the fishing community. I believe that we're doing good work here all of us. All of us are doing this by by supporting fishing and outdoor recreation. And um no, what no. we sell is secondary to uh, how we affect people in a greater uh, degree than than just the show. It's 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 the ascent. When you get together and you assemble all these people in one place, it's very very empowering. No, there is nothing else on earth that can assemble more anglers than the Long Beach Show. Nowhere uh, no on this planet. It. So yeah. it's very very empowering. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, one line open. You want to get through. It's been busy already. It's been hard to get through. Here's your chance. 833-288-0973. I want to talk about our live broadcast Saturday and Sunday from the Hyatt Regency. What a fun thing. That uh, and that's going to be great. Uh, Saturday, uh, we have a great panel. Uh, we're going to have Seth Bone from Kingfisher Charters. We're going to have representatives from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Craig, I believe, Craig, Craig Schumann, Schumann yep. is going to be there. You're going to be there, yep. of course, as you usually do. I heard Gus from Burbank's coming. All right. Which is good. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that'll yeah, be good. Simon. You can uh, lick your chops on that one. And uh, and uh, and and then Ted from Gamakatsu will be there. And, oh, good. And, and so that, that, that's a good panel. And then Sunday we'll have another great panel assembled. But I've got amazing prizes to give away, too. I've got... Uh, a, a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses each day, Saturday and Sunday. I have uh, a, a Shimano reel to give away each day. I have an Anza fillet knife right. to give away each day. And then great, great knives. tons of give, uh, other giveaways. I know Ted said he's going to bring a bunch of stuff. This is crazy. Kamikaze. So, yeah, we're going to be at the, in the Seaview Rotunda, which is as you enter the, the, the lobby of the Hyatt Regency, you go down the escalator to the dining area, and you'll see it. You can't, you can't miss, miss it. You can't miss it. Yeah, it's yeah, huge. Yeah, a lot of the windows are right next to the pool. It's a great venue, and we've secured that uh, – uh, thanks to to KD and the people, Venus and, and such at the, at the Hyatt there, uh, secured that location for both days. And uh, the one and only Rick Cutler will be our live engineer there, so that'll be fantastic. It's going to be a great time. Of course, Jenny is the one who originally set all that up. Of course, we Jenny did. Thank her yeah. for making all that happen initially. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great. And if you don't, I don't care. You don't care about the prizes. To sit there in the morning, it's fun. The, the, with the the water behind us and the light coming through there, and this going on, it is what a fun place to do a yeah. radio show. It My is goodness. fun, yeah. especially because you know. On Saturday, you know, a lot of us have had the fortune to be there and know how exciting the show is, and then to get to tell the guys who maybe, you know, they're they're coming for the first time and they haven't got to walk through, and you get them so hyped up, you won't believe this seminar and that, and it's just a really fun, high energy time, and it's it's the right way to kick off your yeah. show experience. And then uh, the other cool thing is if you get there early, both Saturday and Sunday, shows from seven to nine a.m. of course, and then the show opens at ten, but you're already parked. You're there. Right, yeah. Saturday and Sunday are busy days. Yeah, that's And that's, if you get there right. early, you can go have breakfast at the Hyatt there or that's wherever. That's a really good point. Yeah, and then, you're right. and then, really. And then basically go walk into the show. It's 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 an easy game. It makes it an easy game. That's really true. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Of course, we do have uh, our favorite day of the year, the daylight saving time, spring ahead on Saturday night. So oh, right it'll be, on. It'll so be just, I, was so, so, I was so worried that that <laughs> yeah. might not be the thing. So, it, I'm, it'll, I'm, it'll I'm, be, so we get to get up a little excellent. bit earlier yeah. on Sunday morning. Yeah, which, which is, is really cool, cool because right? it's not like we're real busy the night before <laughs> yeah. or the next day. Exactly. And, yeah. you know, it's not like we have Sunday teardown. We'll be there until yeah. midnight tearing down the tackle yeah, shop booth. Exactly. So, yeah, that's great. Right yeah. on. That's for sure. Yeah. Stoked to hear that. It's always fun. Let's go ahead and jump into the phone. You got it, buddy. How about we? We talked to Rich. He's calling us from Bradley this morning. What's up, Rich? Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, good morning. What a great opportunity to talk, talk to the, 
the three ring circus master. <laughs> um, speaking of three ring circuses, one of the rings seems to have disappeared. What's going on with the uh, with the Bakersfield deal? Uh, well, the Bakersfield show uh, has returned to the capable hands of Mike Hatcher, and he is going to uh, be producing that show, and it's going to happen between uh, Long Beach and Del Mar. And if you get a chance, go up there and see it. You know, it's a wonderful event. Mostly, the, he's that show is going to be more hunting this year, hunting in RVs. Uh, that's where the emphasis has gone. For, for We're a small staff, okay? Uh, you know, there's Ginny and I, and there's Mike Lum, and there's Tim Baker, and there's Katie. That's it. Well, I mean, there's Dave Mondaggi who helps us when he can, but he has his own business as well. Sure. And and the, all the other guys that you see on our staff, uh, you know, Eric McCauley and Rick Gaskins and and uh, Jonathan and my nephew Jay Billy. and Billy. <laughs> well, Billy, <Billy's, laughs> we, we, we're lucky to see Billy these days. Yeah, he's out he's catching swordfish. <laughs> uh, yeah. So so it's difficult to do three shows back to back. It nearly killed us last year, to tell you the truth. Uh, Mike couldn't even. Um, come to the Bakersfield show. He had to stay and be working. We, we were back and forth. So it was just the right thing to do. Long Beach and Del Mar are too important to the fishing community to have us spread so thin that we're no longer uh, completely pumped to do it. Well and with, with Bakersfield in there, we were getting burned out. So you know, we got to give it back to Mike. He's a good guy. It's a good show. Go see it. But uh, yeah. we're going to do Delmar and Long Beach. That's there you go, we're... Rich. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. You know, you talked about the uh, Sporting Chef Cafe. <laughs> is it moving? It is. It's, okay. It is moving. It is moving over north or toward the Pine Street entrance. Okay. You know, we have two entrances to the show. The one that a lot most people come in is through through the sports arena where all the whales are, the boats. But the other one is the Pine Street entrance. And a lot of people these days park over at the Pike parking lot and walk in the Pine Street. There's a shorter line over there than mm-hmm. there is on the other side. Yeah. So they come in that way, and that's where it'll be. Now, Scott has recently had foot surgery. And we didn't know that he was even going to make it, uh, but uh, we, we got him this uh, one of those deals where you, you know the the you put your leg on it and it's a wheelie, a little scooter oh. type thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so his his he can have his right leg on that and he can push it along with the left. So he'll be a gimp, but he'll be uh, Tommy Gomes, the fishmonger, will be there helping him out. And uh, uh, Dan, the man from uh, C-Deck, Dan, Dan, the man with a pan from C-Deck and, uh, and Blue Seas Fabrication will be there to help him also. Oh, Dan. Oh, fantastic. This is going to yeah. be cool. Yeah, and yeah. we're going to miss Gary Sheebler for sure. <laughs> we're going to miss Gary Sheebler yeah. a lot. He's got, you know, has a serious illness, and uh, he's not going to be able to be with us. Yeah. And, uh, but, but it's, hard, it's hard to know what to do about that. I, yeah. I don't want to dwell on it, but it's, it won't be the same without him. No, either. it won't. Uh, yeah. But it's. Uh, but Gary, we want you to get well. Yeah, so. We'll be thinking about you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He'll be yeah. there in spirit, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk <clears throat> Cookup coming your way. So much great stuff to cover, including the catch report. We're going to find out what's biting up and down the coast. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and network. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellow tail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing to the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check out sadosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619 223 5414 or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. All right, let's talk about Shimano. Oh, and man. oh boy, are they big at the show, right, Bart? Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And, and and so many deals, right? We talked to Dave Pfeiffer, our president, he was here last week, talk, even talking about it. It's hard to get him to talk about deals. It, but, it is. But, and <laughs> I'm going to let a little cat halfway oh, out of the bag. Oh, not completely. So okay. we're not really allowed to say this until it happens at the show but but. if you remember last year there was the most insane deal they ever had 
with a particular bass reel, and when you bought that reel, you got a rod. Now, yeah. the reel itself was worth over $100. Yeah. The rod you bought was worth over $100. Yeah. And then when you bought the combo together after tax, it was less than 100 bucks. It was like a $230 yeah. thing. I'm not saying this for sure, but there is an extremely similar thing that's going to be happening again Ooh. via Shimano this year. Ooh. So you can read between the lines. And it could be like an upgraded wants. reel, you yeah, know, it's, uh, something like that. You yeah, know, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, the bottom line is. Uh, Power Pro, free Power Pro fills when you buy from the Buy their dealers. staff while you wait. Yeah, while you wait. So you can come in, so, pick out your new Shimano Trinidad, drop it off to the Shimano guys. They're going to load Power Pro, Max Quattro in their booth while you're cruising around checking out the show. And then when you're when you're done, you're going to pick up your reel and go home with $150 worth of line wound yeah. on it. Get it at the, at the Fred Hall show, the local dealers there, and uh, at Shimano booth. Okay, we're here at beautiful Whalers Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska, with Mark Powers, owner and operator of the lodge, and Chris Martino, who's running the new kayak program here at Whalers Cove Lodge. Mark, tell us about this new kayak program. Kayaking in Alaska was just a natural progression for us to move to. We've got the conventional saltwater charter fleet. We've got amazing freshwater systems and eco tours. Kayak fishing has been something we've been watching for years. We've aligned with Hobie together a uh, pretty amazing fleet. Well, we've got tons of options. We've got a couple locations around uh, the inshore area where we have kayaks staged. Uh, we've also got inflatables up in some of our freshwater systems. So we've got an opportunity to fish for fish the lingcod, the halibut, all the five Pacific salmon species, you know, Dolly Varden and and cutthroat trout. There's a dedicated page just for the kayak program on the website, whalerscovelodge.com. I've experienced that freshwater fishing here as well as the saltwater fishing, and I can imagine fishing from a kayak has got to me just incredible. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check powayvalleycollision.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and network. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. Today, the Catch Report is sponsored by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Focus your offshore fishing in the most productive areas by using Terrafin. And check out the Terrafin booth at the Fred Hall Long Beach Show for a fantastic show special. Terrafin is a must-have tool for your fishing success. And you get a special deal at their booth at the show. They're also going to have all the tricks and tips to help you make your Terrafin more effective on your next trip. And that's that is key for sure. Oh, Those yeah. guys are Jeff. so nice. They're awesome. And, you know, we all have Terrafin, and if you don't, you really should. And it's so much more than just clicking on the one temperature chart and going the you know, the, the chlorophyll charts and the seas, the height anomalies, and you can see current on there. there. There's so much more to your subscription than just seeing what the water temperature is. And those guys will dial you in on how to use it. Yeah. It's, it's an awesome it's for, for more information, check out terrafin.com, or better yet, go see him at the show. We're going to start our catch report off up at Dana Wars Board Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going in there this morning? Doing great. great. Good morning. Good, man. Fred Hall, a buzz. I can tell you, lots of people on the boat this week talking about what they're going to spend their money on. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some some people chomping at the bit to get up there, as oh, uh, yeah. kind of we are here, too, with this whole rockfish thing opening. Kind of a Today. little buzz kill with the weather, for sure, but you know we'll, we'll take an extra day to, to get on it. Not that big of a deal, but for us here, our half-day fishing... You know, it remained fairly decent for us this week. We had some, some days that were certainly better than others with some of that bass action. Um, fish caught this week on uh, the fly line sardine, guys fishing the dropper loop, artificial lures, all that stuff had a time and a place this week. Helped us catch some fish in that half-day range. Some of the nicer sand bass, as you could probably imagine, are being caught out in that deeper water. Um, and then that kelp bass there and on the kelp lines and, and some of that action in there. 
The water temps, though, man, 60 to 61 all week for us. So that was very steady as well. But uh, as we rode this sculpin out big time here the last two months, uh, again, this week it was very steady for us with limits, the near limits out there for us again this week on those three-quarter day trips. So we're certainly eager to see how things roll out now that everything is open again. So if you're coming fishing with us, certainly recommend uh, on these three-quarter day trips at least a good medium-heavy eight-foot rod, a three- or four-hundred size reel filled with 40- or 50-pound braid, all of that stuff you can find for sure it's on those specials up there at the show this coming week so an assortment of torpedo sinkers and then uh that versatile colt sniper man i can't tell you how versatile that jig is i think we all know that but 80 to 100 gram jig bring that with you and you should have no problem catching what you need on that rockfish realm and uh, also reminder the fury has his overnight schedule up obviously he's not on the water today he uh he pulled that back and decided not to go um but he's got his on uh overnight schedule all up online and you can call our office and get all of those available dates if you guys want to hop on a trip with him as well go fish San Clemente Island so that's it for us here if you want to hop on a trip call our landing our number here 949-496-5794 you can check us out on the web as well at danawarf.com and then use this code for this month if you want to save 25 percent on a half or three quarter day trip it's going to be m-a-r like march m-a-r 25 Enter that in a little discount code uh, when you book online, and that'll take 25% off your ticket fare for you. What a killer deal, Wooly. Well, we sure appreciate that. Good tip on that Colt Sniper. You're right, man. That lure catches absolutely Amazing. everything that swims. Well, great report, bro. We sure appreciate that, and we'll look forward to talking next week. Good luck on those cods this week when that weather straightens out. Appreciate it, man. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, Willie. All right, I appreciate the phone call very All much. All right, very good. Uh, as we wait for Gundy, we'll uh, wrap up that catch report. Yeah, you, yeah. you got it. The catch report today is sponsored in part by the Surf Fishing from California to Cabo Seminar. So this one is similar to the Captain Summit, but this one's on Friday. It's Friday, March the 6th at 11 a.m. before the Fred Hall Show. You're going to get to see Corey Sandin, Wes Burrow, Bill Varney. They're all going to be there. They're going to have killer raffle prizes. And like the other seminar, it includes your admission into the Fred Hall show door. just like always this event will sell out and it, you know if you haven't uh, it, and I think Pete you were saying that you looked this morning there's still tickets available right now but Few I'm sure tickets. like the captain summit there will not be many and the only way to get them is to jump online at fredhall.com it's a really cool surf fishing seminar that's put on by guys that really know what they're talking about and it's cool that it covers everything from fishing your local beach all the way down to Cabo and back it's a really cool seminar yeah, and plus the prizes. Yeah, they're, right. they're giving away lots of prizes. Oh, yeah. Well, Bill Varney, <laughs> being in charge, man, he he, he puts it out. For he does. Sure. There's lots yeah. of prizes. Yeah, it's going to be great. And so, Bart, if you, you, you should not wait for either of these two seminars to go to the show and try and buy tickets because they you won't can't, be available. You well, you can't buy them at the door. We don't. We're not, we won't sell them. Well, well, there won't be any left anyway. Yeah, Fred Hall be a chance. Yeah. So FredHall.com Fred is Hall. the Hall. only com. way to get. Yeah, the only way to get them. Yeah, not available at the door. Yeah, and so if you go to FredHall.com, click on the Long Beach tab. I'm going to kind of guide you through this, and you click on the Long Beach tab, and then uh, you'll see the different seminars coming up, and uh, so you click on let's see the pre-show seminars like the Captain Summit. Click on that, and then it says buy tickets. So when you go to the ticket, you need to scroll down, down on that page. You, you, it says tickets. You click on tickets, and then you scroll down on select seats, which there's you can buy admission tickets, but you don't need to buy an admission ticket if you go to either one of those seminars. Uh, you just click on that number of tickets that you want, purchase them, and you're there. Right, and, and you know, uh, I know it, it costs more than your entry, but we don't make any money on this. This is just kind of a service. But by the time we pay for the room and the refreshments, you know, that's that's all it is. Yeah. But so you're paying $15 uh, for yeah. the seminar, but yeah. you're getting yeah. you're thousands getting of dollars of information. And free prize. Everybody's getting a prize that walks in that place. So wow, you're yeah. getting more than $15 in prizes. Yeah. Just you're going to make out. Yeah, you'll, sure. you'll do fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's <laughs> fun. fun. Yeah. It's, fun. Yeah. it's really fun. It's a good one for sure. Hey, let's go ahead and jump back on phones, Rick. You got it, buddy. How about we talk to our buddy Dave, who's calling us from Anza this morning. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, Bart. Um, I think I'm coming up on being about a 30-year veteran of going to your shows there. I've always enjoyed it a lot. And, you know, the feature that my wife and I like most has always been the sporting chef. I remember the... Uh, First time we that you had him all those years ago up at Del Mar, he was in a booth outside, and I think we were the only two people at his seminars. But uh, things have certainly changed now because he really packs them in there. And um, you actually already answered my two questions for you. It was about um, 
the new location for, for the sporting chef and also about Gary, you know, my thoughts and prayers really go out to Gary. So since you had answered them, I got a question for you, John, you know, uh, my first time to the ranch was in 95 That's 25 years ago. Now, Um, (laughs) how are the grandkids doing? The grandkids are doing good. Uh, Three and five years old now. So they're growing up fast and enjoying them. Enjoying them. We're going to Disneyland day after tomorrow, right before the show. And, Cool. Their first trip to Disneyland. Oh, Looking forward cool. to that. Yeah. No, the grandkids are great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Dave. That'll be good. Hey, Dave, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Appreciate that. That does free up for the first time all morning. 833 288 0973. All right. How about this time we talk to Reggie? Reggie's calling from Camarillo. What's up, Reggie? Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? doing great. Great, good. buddy. How are you? I'm doing good, doing good. Just got a quick question for um, a comment and a question for Bart. Uh, the comment is that coming from someone that works trade shows for a living, you guys do a top-notch job. Like, never disappointed when I go to the show. Thank you. Where do you live in and Camarillo? Then, uh, I live right off of Lewis Road, right by the right by the train tracks there in that new apartment complex there. That's where I live. That's right near our office. <laughs> right mm-hmm. there. Yeah. That's cool. Oh. We lost Reggie. Oh shoot! Darn. Da, we well try try back, Reggie. Something happened to. Yeah, the phone call just dropped right then. Just dropped off, huh? All right. Well, let's try and get it. Grab another one. Yeah, no worries. How about we jump back in and we talk to Cliff? Cliff's calling from Blossom Valley this morning. Good morning, Cliff. Welcome to the show. Hey guys. Good morning. Uh, first, John, I've been to your place twice, and it's the one place my wife always wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, Cliff. Mine she too. Is pretty smart. Hey, but just a simple question. My family's been going with my boys for years to the Del Mar show, but what's the big difference? What is what does Long Beach have that Del Mar does not have? This is a, before you answer, Bart. This is a great question that I'm excited for you to answer because I'm a San Diego guy and I have so many of my friends that just go to the Del Mar show because it's close to home and and uh, so this this one rings a lot for me and I'm excited to hear your answer because they are two different shows Completely with different, different. feels. They are different shows. And, and actually, um, this year, as far as activities goes, Del Mar will have more than Long Beach. But believe it or not, I'll wow. tell, you, tell you in a second. Uh, <laughs> this year, Del Mar will occupy nearly 1 million square feet oh of my God. exhibit space. Holy uh, A lot more. But Long Beach is the world's largest sport fishing show. Now, there's ICAST, which is a, a large sport fish, but, but it's for trade only. So the only sport fishing show the public can go to that is the largest in the world is Long Beach. So that means there is more factory participation. Factory booths are larger. You know, Shimano is at Del Mar, but the Shimano presence at Long Beach is much larger. Right. You have uh, the real repair seminar, which you will not have at Del Mar. You, the same thing goes for for Daiwa, for Akuma, for Avet, for uh, for Accurate, for every major factory, they treat Long Beach as if it was a trade show. It's a showcase. It's, that's is, that's why Okuma is releasing their their new lever drag reel at Long Beach because it's it's like a trade show. They want and and you'll see that and the dealers that are there are the ones that we let in are, are the best dealers and the other dealers in the area come and treat it as a trade show they come and look at the product in all these other dealers uh, displays there's also 400 seminars in 5 days now we do have 200 seminars in in Del Mar but really long beach is just different well, you can go down to the Hyatt Lagoon i'm very excited about this new Hobie Mirage Drive 360. Oh, it's amazing. You, you can you can go in a complete circle in your kayak, your Hobie Mirage Drive kayak, and never use your hands. <laughs> you can go cool. right circle, left circle. You can go forward. You can go backwards. And you're just using your feet. It is the most amazing thing for an angler. I mean, your hands are free. And you're out there fishing. So anyway, you can do that. You can cast... On the lagoon, you can take Shimano products or Daiwa products and cast on the on the lagoon out there. Now, it's, it, we also have the deep blue dive pool, which we do not have in Del Mar. The deep blue dive pool, you get to put a, a dry suit on over your clothes. You get into the pool. You have a lesson with a certified scuba instructor. You get out, take the dry suit off, dry your hair, and go on about so your business. So you can f- feel what scuba diving yeah, exactly. is. Exactly. It's all part of the deal. So Long Beach is just a bigger version of of Delmar. Now, 
However, this year when you get to Del Mar, we're going to have for the kids the Great American Duck Races because the county of L.A. has forbidden the ducks to be there because of avian flu. But in Del Mar, <laughs> I know, crazy. I know. But these ducks never interact with other ducks. They live in a cage, but whatever. So, but in Del Mar, we'll have that. And we'll also have this year in Del Mar, for the first time ever, the Super Hooligan Motorcycle Races. And this is part of their national championships. This is a big deal. Uh, they've, they've come out, and they're going to be doing motorcycle races on Saturday and Sunday, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. We're also adding RVs at Del Mar, which we haven't had for about 15 years. And so because of all this, we're taking up a lot of space. Where, where a skipper's used to park is now going to be a hooligan race. So uh, it, it's a, they're different. They really are different. You, sh- you should do both if you can. If you've never been to Long Beach, Long Beach is a bucket list show. And people come from all over the world to go to Long Beach. Uh, Del Mar is one of the five or six best shows in the country. Uh, but, you know, Long Beach is, stands on its own as something They're both unique. Good. That was such a good yeah. description. You, yeah. you owe it. If you're a fisherman and you love it, you yeah. owe it to yourself to go to the Long Beach show. Del Mar is – I enjoy the Del Mar show more so for the pace. Yeah. And I get more time to spend with customers and we get more in-depth into talking about – you know, long range tackle and things like that. So I enjoy the Del Mar show more for that level. But if you're a fisherman, you 100% have to go to the Long Beach show. If you if you've not been because you always go to Del Mar, you owe it to yourself to make the drive. It's not that far, and it is the best show in the world. Indeed. It's amazing. All right, Cliff. Thanks a lot. Good question. Appreciate when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls and more great info. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and network. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at fisherman'slanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's time for the one and only 74th annual Fred Hall Show at the Long Beach Convention Center, March 4th to the 8th. It's the world's largest fishing show, one of the nation's premier boat shows, and a world-class international fishing and hunting travel show. Nearly 1,000 booths, acres of boats and vehicles, over 400 seminars, the Mammoth Lakes Kids Fish Free Truck Pond, Daiwa's Saltwater Tank, Accurate Fishing's Main Seminar Stage, Hobie Kayaks Fishing Theater, the 805 Okuma Bass Tank, the Ram Trucks Ultimate Air Dogs, Costa's Sporting Chef Cafe, the Johnson Hicks Giant Marine Electronic Section, Free Dive, Scuba Dive, Off Road, Fly Fishing, Air Gun Ranges, Casting, Hobie Test Rides, Up Kicks, Where Cameras Presents the Paul Bunyan Blubber Jack Show, and so much more. Kids Free, Kids Fish Free. Join CCA Cal and get in free. Celebrate the passion of fishing, boating, hunting, and outdoor recreation at the nation's number one show, The Fred Hall Show, March 4th to the 8th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Presented by Progressive. Details at FredHall.com. There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there is only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. Come check out what's new at the Kona Kai. 170 luxury guest rooms, including 41 brand new suites featuring contemporary island-inspired decor, deep soaking tubs, and oversized balconies. The Kona Kai Resort Spa and Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and an award-winning spa, most of which is included for Marina tenants. Add the Kona Kai Club to your membership and you have access to the new Paloma Pool Bar, a new and exclusive pool area for adults only, which allows guests to enjoy poolside craft cocktails and California coastal cuisine while overlooking your boat. In addition to all this, Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. Check resortkonakai.com on the web for more information to reserve a slip or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. 
We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Fifth Avenue Insurance has a new name. It's Snap Insurance. Still providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. You can even work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Call them for advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. Com. That's S-N-A-P-P-I-N-S dot com. Rock Cod Rick here for West Coast Marine and Parker Boats. You see them all over Southern California waters. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore islands. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all size fishing in the same area as the sporty. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. Of all the boats out there, my boat partner and I chose to get a brand new 25 Parker Center Console from Kevin Kelly and the gang at West Coast Marine and I could not be happier. Wow, what a fishing machine. Parker Marine builds a heavy duty, industrial strength boat probably overbuilt but that's why so many four and six pack charters choose to operate parkers we thank the guys at pinnacle sport fishing season sport fishing one man charters black and blue sport fishing for their confidence in parker boats take it from me if you are ready for a new parker at a fair upfront and honest deal you need to see kevin kelly at west coast marine located at 1555 newport boulevard in costa mesa or check out their inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com 